Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is demonstrate the brand new rotate command provided by 1CNC XR5. Now to begin with, all I'm doing here is I'm just creating a real simple shape that we can use to demonstrate the new rotate tool. Let's trim this using the trim to command. With trim to, you just digitize what you'd like to save. How about we put some fillets on here? That's looking good. I'll grab that line and that line. And why don't we finish the shape by giving it some thickness. We'll use the extrude curves command. And let's just drag that down to about 5 8 And that looks good. Alright, so there's the model that we're going to use for demonstrating the brand new rotate. Alright, now within XR5, the rotate command is located at the top of the screen. And it's also located within your main toolbar underneath transform. You'll notice there's rotate. There's also a rotate around the line. But for this video, we're going to concentrate on the rotate command. Alright, so just like the move command, we do need to select our geometry first. So I'm going to hit Control A, Control Alpha on the keyboard, and let's grab Rotate. The first thing that happens is 1CNC says pick the position to rotate around. We can easily now type in coordinate data, specify copy, scale, attributes, or within XR5, it's now simple just to snap the datum. I'm just going to snap the datum with the left click, and once I do that, two things happen. Notice that I can now dynamically move the model just by moving the mouse and that there's also a compass that's been overlaid on the screen here. Now the purpose of this compass is that we can easily snap across most commonly used angular increments like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 and so on. So if I'd like I could come up here grab 90, left hand mouse click and there's the rotation. Let's demonstrate this again. Alright, so there's the compass. We can dynamically rotate this by moving our mouse. If we want to snap along the compass all we have to do is take our cursor, left hand mouse click and we're done. All right now what if we want to type in an angular value? Well, I'm going to snap the datum for our point of rotation. And instead of using the compass, I'm going to head over here to the left and I'm going to type in 30 degrees. And when I'm good with that, I just click OK and there's the rotation. Now a really powerful uh, attribute of the compass is that it can be dynamically changed. Let me demonstrate this. I'm going to, let's do this. Let's go back into rotate. I'm going to grab the datum there. All right, so there's our compass. Now I'm going to head down here to construction plane and change our construction plane to how about YZ. All right. We'll click close and let's change our view to let's say the left view. There we go. And now you can see the compass again is coplanar with the current construction plane which happens to be YZ in this example. And if we'd like we can simply snap along the compass or we can come over here to the left and we can type in whatever values we'd like. All right, so in summary, within XR5, it's very simple to take your geometry and rotate it. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.